Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and if my voice sounds a little bit odd, it's because the entire western part of the United States is on fire. Uh, forest fires and stuff, and like, Cheyenne has been getting horrible, horrible smoke. Uh, anyway, we have a couple of maintenance things that we need to do today uh, in our little area here. And one of those is fixing this balancer. Thank you to the, all the commenters who were sharp-eyed enough to uh, find these errors. I really appreciate that. I'm, I would be like, huh, what's this? Uh, anyway, um, and remember last time I said it looked weird? Well, it is weird. We do need one more light oil cracker, and that's just me not remembering... Um, the not 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 <clears throat> pardon me not not remembering more like um not looking at the diagram correctly i miscounted it should be 16 of these instead of 15 so let's see we need to fix this this is not good right here or it has to be moved i should say so let's put this here and shove that in there we can actually do something like this and then move that. Do we have that? Did I? I didn't save it. No, I, of course not. Of course not. Um, that was a bit silly. Not to save it. But here we go anyway. Do I don't know. This this seems fine. Okay, we'll just do this, and then add like that. So these are going to be pushing into here, and that is going to be our build here <clears throat> for this. Except for we do need to add some. Uh, solid fuel, which I think, I don't know, solid fuel is a bit of an afterthought. You could use the coal coming from the trains, but since the rest of my network, almost everything uses light oil, uh, I mean uh, solid fuel, I think we're going to go with uh, a couple of light oil makers out here. Um, let's go ahead and add those real quick. We can just grab a, a setup. No, we, do, well, we don't need a setup. Oh, oh, there was one more thing. I think we were lacking. Ah, oh, yes, we were lacking modules in these guys here. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of... Um, these guys just don't have modules at all. We'll just use our module copy, copy thingy, thingy. Here we go. Copy this one, and then we're going to set it for sulfuric acid. <clears throat> Oh, and there will be much throat clearing. Just think of it as KOSMR. It's fine. Um, anyway, I am going to get another of these guys. Let's see this one. Sure. And this really doesn't need much moduling. I have to say really doesn't. Let's just put it right. I think there. Yes. You always want to misalign it with the beacons because it gets more coverage with beacons then gets tiny tiny bit more coverage now where is the light oil coming from let's see where do we have that probably let's see here no, that's petroleum it's gonna be here looks like it yep right there right there right there okay so we see it it's on our radar it's a thing okay good and that will be shared right there and then we can just do some solid fuel from light oil. There we go. Um, and this doesn't really need to be any kind of major structure. Okay, I think let's just do maybe four of them. We don't really need much. And these guys can just have a solid pipe there. That's fine. And then the output we're going to have is a couple of these guys. And we'll just do a nice little belt thingy majingy. Do, 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 do. And then have plenty of belt storage. Oopsies. Sorry. Sorry. Actually, I think it fits with the rest to have that little gap like this. Yeah. All right. And this is going to be connected to the solid or to the belt going here, right there. So let's see if we can get something approximating good beltness good spaghetti that's what we need here all right take this one there ah and i believe that these are also reversed okay so we need to make sure that those are going the correct direction do 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 and then we'll get 
these guys. There we are. Okay, and fuel thing imaging goes here. Ooh, that's a long stretch. Wow, I felt that stretch going on there. Dang. Alright, and then power. Hooray. Oh, but power needs to be connected. Hooray. There's our connections of power. And we also need a radar. I noticed like you can't even see the end of this thing. So let's put out a radar here. Um, Here-ish. Sure. Also, I believe that we might need... Do we need a, um, a phone coverage out here? I think we're good. I think we're good with phone... Uh, well, actually, let's get out of phone coverage area. And we'll... <laughs> We'll make sure that we have enough uh, to remotely build. Ah, this was the area. That's right. This is still lacking. So we do need a tiny bit more phone coverage over here. Yay. Put that there. And we'll put our long distance power pole right beside it. And get a little bit of... There we go. Okay, great. So, hey, 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 life is better. This is fantastic. This is actually really great. Um, all right, let me check my checklist. Let's see. Balancers, solid fuel, add one light oil cracking. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we need to go to our world, our base, like, and fix a couple of things, really important things. Here, let's go to, let's take ourselves to the base because... We have a couple of different needs, most of which is going to be electricity. We need a lot of that stuff. So let's just go here and we'll stop there. And meanwhile, I will pause while we're traveling. Okay, I've changed our destination somewhat, very much on purpose. Um, and we're just going to stop here and go into manual mode. Now, I want to make a couple of changes here. Now, one of the things in the mall blueprint, and you really should download the new blueprint for this, is when I did the upgrade planner, this was not a thing uh, when I first designed the mall um, years ago. And so I added this kind of uh, upgrade-y thing. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. The upgrade planner right in its own blueprint book. And so I just did a blanket upgrade of certain chests equal certain things as you can see like you know the steel chests are equaling the um whatchamacallum buffer chests and iron chests are going to be passive providers but i kind of forgot one chest and that is these guys here and the reason this thing keeps filling up with a billion belts is because these are passive providers so what i have done on the blueprint is I have changed them into wooden chests uh, so that they're not providing, and this one is not requesting a billion yellow belts. Yeah, so anyway, change those to something that is not a provider chest or storage uh, because these things, they do need the materials, but they do not need um, to be providing to this poor buffer chest. So anyway, it's updated in the new ball, in the mall blueprint if you want to re-download it again. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to make our nuclear outposts more self-sufficient. Now, normally when we add power, it's kind of like, oh yeah, I have to go there anyway because I have to add all this piping and stuff. But um, I don't always want to go back to the base and add reactors. And so that's the problem we're going to solve right now. Now, reactors are kind of a sneaky business. And notice I have parked this very, very strategically. So we do not get run over by the building train. Anyway, um, nuclear reactors are one of the most expensive items in the game. And I don't want to fill the train with these things. Look at this. They cost 500 copper plates, steel plates, advanced circuits, and concrete. That's a massive amount of materials. Like, tons. So, what I'm going to do instead is we're going to move this. Um, and then make a chest requesting these bits. Okay, so we're going to request a couple of nuclear reactors. Like, two. Oh, no, I don't want a whole stack. Just two is fine. Thank you. Uh, all right, and then we're going to add these guys. But we're going to connect this one with a circuit condition to read the train contents. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use green wire, I think, for this. Let's see, where's the green wire? There we go. Let's add green wire. So this is the one with this chest. Very important to keep you know, aware of which chest we're talking about here. Um, all right, so take this there and then go to the stop. Now the stop, we don't need to send it to the train. We just need to read the train contents. And so what we're doing is we're gonna activate this inserter if the train has less than two. Because I do not want to be having a whole stack of reactors going out there. That is just not cool. It's very expensive and we have better things to spend the resources on, like modules, for example. So we're also going to do an override of the stack size to one. It's only going to pick up one each time. And that's it. That's all we got to do. So let's go and also we need to change one car on the building train here. For example, this one. Um, I think we don't need that many pump jacks, so I'm going to put those there. Actually, oh, I need to, um, before we do this, let's go and logistics on, take my trash. Thank you. Uh, and then set this one for the nuclear reactors. Uh, here we go. And so this should work. Um, we like to say the word should because we think it should work. Uh, I think we have all of this correct. We have the space in the train. Let's delete this and watch it go. So we want to make sure that we're not getting more than two reactors on this train. Because if you don't set the thing... Oh wow, we got 10. Why did this not work? No! Okay, train, stop. Oops. Uh, hello. Okay, we're going to set this to manual and figure out why this didn't work. So, what does the poll say? The poll says nothing. Did we not connect it properly? Oh, there is a problem. There is a problem. So this thing is reading train contents. Is this getting it? No. Train go here. Okay, manual mode. Sure. Cargo contents. Why is this not reading? Hello? Hmm. I wish I could see the wires a tiny bit better. Let's see. Let's get this back out here. So this is connected to here. Can I connect this to this pole as well? Hello? Why is it not reading the contents? Is it, let's see. Ah, we have started the train again. And let's see, let's take out all of these nuclear reactors. Put it in four, seven, and that's way too many. No. This is so strange. Let's see, did I do the thing wrong? If it's less than two, then enable disable. Right. Uh, oh, 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 come back. No! Sometimes I wish you could click on any car of the train and then have it come back. All right, so this is not working for some unexplained reason. I was working on this in my... Okay, come back, come back come back I was working on this in a test game and it worked perfectly and now it's not working and I'm like why why you do enable disable set stack size no read hand contents override stack size to one yes nuclear reactors if there are less than two then input is that correct maybe my dyslexia is getting the better of me here uh let's see if it's Less than 50, yeah, then add. Huh. I wonder if I... I wonder if I... One. Here. I'm gonna put the rest back in here. Where? Oh, God. The new icons are... Sometimes not ideal. Okay, so now it works. Okay, so train is working now. If I take two out, it's gonna add one. Oh, train. No. Okay. Okay, train. Come back. Come back, my building train. Come back. I'm going to have this wait for longer. Like, many longer. Yeah, sure. Um, Put these guys back. Yeah, especially the... I, I really like the old nuclear icons. I thought they were better. But anyway. Okay, so what do we got in this train now? We now have two. If we take out one, two... Okay, so for whatever reason, it wasn't working, but now it is seeming to work. So we're just going to go with this and call it good. Okay, 
And now we have way too many nuclear reactors. Jeez. So I want to go to nuclear land. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this on manual mode. And we're going to drive to nuclear land. Because we need to change that outpost. And uh, let's go here. Or actually, let's go here instead. And in your building train blueprint, you're going to need to do this. The outpost blueprint. You're need to, going to need to change the thing so it will accept the... Um, the new stuff the new stuff yeah okay i probably should trash these completely we don't need any more refineries on us uh anything else we don't need i think we're okay yeah good yes okay good now then um let's see now these guys are oh yeah those are the combinators oh no 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 stop it oh jeez. All right, well, you stay there. You hold, hold, just hold up a bit. Hold up a bit. All right, combinator. We need to add a signal to the combinator here. We want to request two. And we'll just have two here every time. So that's what we need to do. And make sure you add that to your blueprint of your output station. All right, so go ahead and go to um, nuclear. There we are. Nuclear building. Hooray. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add another six reactors and then we want to add another set of these things. So we could actually just copy this wholesale, which is easy. Let's grab from that corner and go from map mode instead. It's easier. Almost forgot. <laughs> Too many things. All right, so there we are. I think this is good. Yep. And then we're going to paste it down here. And unfortunately, somebody forgot to put a radar down there. So I'm going to go and put that real quick. Just take these uh, power pole uh, this way. Kind of like leaving a little bit of space here. Uh, radar, where does this go? Like here-ish? Sure. Let's put that there. And then now we can see this area and place down our, um, our section here. Uh, all right, so we're going to align it kind of like with that. Oh, well, uh, I would help if it was going the right direction. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think this is correct. Sure. Uh, then we also need to look at our nuclear power book here for a reactor add-on the 6x modular thingy um because what happens is is that the same as this no surely uh no 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 no. where is this thing might be this I had an add-on thing for adding for an extra six reactors because of the bonus. And I think I'm going to have to look that up because I don't remember where it is. Um, it might be in the other save file. And I thought I had it in my nuclear book, but I don't see it here. But because you have extra... Oh, here it is. Add-on for two glues of six. There we go. So we're gluing on some more and we're going to add on an extra set of these guys uh, because of the whole uh, more bonus in between them. Yeah, so what this is what we're gonna do is add on all this stuff over here. And I do need to add some robo ports because I don't think they can reach all the way over there. So let's be sure to add a few of these guys. Just there, one there, just make sure that they are connected. There we go, one there as well. Get an extra power pole there. And do we need one further? Yes, we do. Hello. Oh, yep. It's not there yet. It's not there yet. Let's see if we can add this one here by ourselves. There we go. Because I want to have full vision down here and the ability to place stuff further on. All right. So let's go down here. And water is a tiny bit further away, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, and I want to add some robo ports down here. 
Oh, nice. We can connect this here. Okay, hey bots, how you doing? I'm just gonna right click on all of them to get them back into my inventory quickly. Okay, so here we go. And what we'll do with this probably is just get some, I wanna put pumps in here just to give it a little extra oomph on this end and make sure that we have enough water. Let's see, here we go. Are these on my hotbar? Yeah, they are. Okay, good. You know what we could do? We could just take this out. I think that might be better. Let's see, instead of doing that, we'll do this. Get rid of this whole thing here. So that those guys can get connected. And in fact, what I will do here is remove those and then do this and then do a one of these guys. And what I also might do is just extend this further. Why not just do all the copying at the same time instead of 100 times? Oh, sometimes I hate that. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, it's fine, though. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Add these guys down here. It's funny uh, because when I was looking for that reactor gluing thing, I knew kind of what it was called. And then I was like, Geez, where is this? Because I, you know, normal KOS would put it in a different place. So that's where that problem came from. Anyway, so um, so here we go. Let me do this from map mode. It's a little bit easier to. No, it's not easier to see. It's just different. Okay, there it is. Here, here, here. Between each of those little round thingy majingies. There we go. All right. So this is what we got. And then now I want to add the offshore pumps. Now then, where are those? Those are in this menu. Oh, I have lots of them. I have millions of them. Goodness me. One there, one there, sure. Uh, here. Okay, good, good. And then we have all kinds of weird stuff going on here. There, there. There, and oopsies. And there, okay, cool. That one will go there. This one will go here. Tiny bit of piping in here. Mm. So that one goes here somehow. There we go. This one. Okay. You go there. That one's there. Fine, fine. And obviously we're going to need those roboports to cover this area. Because we don't have enough pipes on us. And that's okay. We just need to make sure that we have the coverage. And life will be better. Yes. Okay, and we'll get this here. Actually, we can start moving this inward like this so that it can cover some of this area here because that's kind of important, like really important. There we go. Oh, we missed one. Oh dear. Let's just make sure that we grab that again. Place this here. There we go. Okay, and then if this doesn't cover and it doesn't, this here then and again power poles needed okay very nice all right get one for here all right and you know if the distance from the water is too long uh i think what you need is like 17 it, i um i was going off the um kind of older numbers for when we were looking at the water for our um our you know 
uh, what do you call this? This space over here <laughs> with oil. Oh my God, you can see. Yep, the brain is not working that well. It's the headaches again, but it's fine. Uh, anyway, um, I was saying every 10 of these underground tiles, um, but we don't actually need that much flow. It's okay to have it uh, every 17 tiles. Um, and the, the same would apply for here because you want just as much as the offshore point pumps can provide, which is 1200 per second. So if we count the number of like these tiles here, how much do we have? That is actually it's 18 tiles. So that one probably needs a pump somewhere. Uh, and this one probably also needs a pump somewhere. Let's put the somewhere over here uh, and then call that good. It's a little bit on the close end, but eh, who cares? And we'll add this power pole there. Hello, can we? Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice. So this is not getting energy. Why is that? Hello? Ah, because this doesn't have any energy. Okay. Let's make sure and connect this whole section to the electrical grid altogether. There we go. So that's going to be fine. Okay. So this is great. We're getting stuff. And we might get water one day. Do we have pumps requested here? Like offshore pumps? I guess we don't need offshore pumps because we placed all of them. But it would be good for future things. But we do need the pipes. That's what we're lacking here is all of the pipes here but the building train is going to keep on swirling around and delivering a bunch of stuff here in fact we can probably let's see where is this building train why don't you go back to the base again and then we'll just have it go back to nuclear we always want nuclear to be the first stop on the building trains thingy so that it it can just um come out here first and get all this stuff done first so we have 848 degrees. That's pretty quick. It's heating up very, very quickly. And oh, look at this. We have water. Hello. We've got the steam and the stuff. Oh, this is great. We have power now. And the cool thing is, is that the building train did come around several times and delivered all of those reactors. So what I'm wondering is maybe I should request more of these. Hmm. Well, it should have some in general. Like, does it? Are we just out? No, we actually have pipes. We're we're good with pipes. Okay, cool. That's fun. Now then, uh, we do have uh, some time to go back and we need to add one of those water pipes as well as connect up the crude uh, to our oil base. I just wanted to get these other things out of the way because they're kind of important. Just slightly. Okay, so let's go over here. Start going here, please. And then we're going to park somewhere. Hmm. I guess here would be a good spot. Just go here. It's a little bit less swirly. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so let's go there. Okay, cool. Perfect. Perfecto. Excellent. Okay, and Spidertron is here as well. We can actually start building some of this from space. Uh, all right, so let's see. We want to just grab this whole thing. See if we can do this just quite simply like this. And, oh dear. Hold on, hold on. We need to put it somewhere. Let's get rid of these guys for now. And... Okay, get rid of the railroad tracks in this. And see if we can build this a tiny bit. Oh, there it is. Hello. From space. Okay, there's a tiny issue there, I see. But in general, we can start building this thing. Let's get this off. Okay, so this is connecting very well. This is not connecting. So this needs to be changed. Uh, and then we'll have... That one go that way. Okay, very nice. How are we doing with building stuffs? I think we're okay-ish. Uh, we are going to have to connect up these pumps. Let's, do, let's just do that. Because those are going to be 
out of range at the moment from this. Okay, do I have any pipes? Probably not. Okay, so let's go and grab some from here. Okay, there we go. Good, good. Okay, I guess I could have turned on my Lodgy network thingy, but it's okay. Sometimes it's nice to keep it off while you're in building land. Oh, I forgot the... Uh, I forgot the pumps. Need to get pumps. Can I... Am I requesting those? I'll go ahead and turn it on and see. What are we... Oh, yeah, we're trashing just trash stuff. That's great. Hooray. Oh, okay. There we go. Trees. So much struggle against the trees. Okay, we do have five, which is nice. I don't know if that's enough, but we'll see. Now let's go over here. In any case, the building train should be by soon-ish to come and pick those up. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Good. Good bots. Let's go. Let's go. You're picking stuff up, making life happy. Hooray! Okay. Wow. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Fine. It's fine. Okay. Very nice. This is a bit longer, but it should be okay, I think. All right. Looks like we're getting water. Oh, this is exciting. Life is now exciting. Wow. Now then, you need some care and attention. We're going to check... Do we have water? We do have some water. That's good. Some water over here. Do we have water over here? Yes. Good, good. All right. Life is distinctly better now. <gasps> this is so exciting. Oh my God. We're going to start this up today. Um, anyway, so two things we are missing. We do need the crude section here. And we're going to add a couple of tanks for that. We're going to have one tank here. Uh, and then one tank over here. Here, yeah, here. So one, two. No, wait, that's not right. We just need one. One over. Yeah, because we just want to put a pump here. Like that. Then we want one here like this. And then that one can go this way. Okay, exciting times. Now, 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 now. How do we want to fix this? Now we have crude coming in from somewhere which we don't have lights to show us where that could be so we'll put the lights over here let's put a couple of lights around the place so we can actually see things let's put this here actually by the front of the train stations might be good it's like slightly kind of moody and uh keeps the rest of the station a tiny bit dark yeah there we go okay let's see this is not the right thing. This is an oil looking one. Aha! Crude drop off. There we go. So we want to create pipelines from here to here. Um, and we want to make sure that we have plenty of pressure there for that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take from one of these thingies, like this one and then this one. One, two. And we're going to do our pumps coming out of here. And I'm doing it this way. I know this looks probably pretty stupid, but it's because I want to have even amounts as we go along. But what we're doing is we're taking not from the end one, but from a middle one. Um, and that's because we want these tanks to empty a little bit more evenly. I guess we could take from this this area here, but, well, it doesn't matter because it's not direct anyway. But maybe we should make it direct. Let's do that instead. Let's make this direct take from pump, take from uh, tank. So it has the maximum amount of throughput. Now, uh, somebody asked me the other day, and I thought this was an interesting question because I hadn't really... Um, thought about it but the flow does not change on a corner so you can have this as squirrely as you want okay so let's go here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this here and then we'll make this a pump okay 
And the whole thing will equalize because all these tanks are connected together. So it doesn't matter which one is used more of each. Um, just in case you're wondering. So let's see. Water is used before. So we want to have these turn after the water section. Okay, that's fine. So we want to do a... Okay. Oh dear, what is going on with this nature? Too much nature, though they were pretty trees, I have to say. Pretty trees. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and we also need to make a turn at some point. And that's going to have to happen soon. Here, I want to have a pump going into each one of these. Okay, so let's get up these guys here. And I am going to offer this as a blueprint if you want it. But I haven't put it on the Google Drive just yet. I'll try to do that ASAP, but no. Things. Okay, so here, how many do we have here? 11. Okay, so we definitely need a pump here. Okay, and then this can go here. And yeah, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> if that actually worked that way, but it doesn't. So I think we're just gonna do this. If we are lacking in throughput, we can sneak in a pump somewhere. You know what, let's move this up a tiny bit instead. So I think we can just put a pump here instead. And that will equalize it a bit better. Okay, let's add a power pole. There we go. Now then, this one. Let's just copy a couple of these guys and then get this going. There we go. That's looking nice. That does not work as well, but that does. Hooray. Okay, good, good. Now I can't see this one. Oh no. Ah, nature. Hi, how you doing? Let's put this here. I don't want it right next to the track because I do want to cross. And then we'll put a we'll put a pump in the middle of this somewhere. Okay, so here's our thingy. That one goes there. Okay, good, good. I guess this can go right here like this. That's just fine. That definitely doesn't work. Okay, so what we need to do here is a stupid squirrely thing, but that's okay. It's fine. Actually, we could do something like this and just put a pump here. You never have too many pumps. I mean, unless you feel like you have too many. So we have, wow, many, many tiles probably. I'm not going to count them because I don't feel like looking into nature that closely. There we go. That works there. And this is fine. Look at this. It's great. We're having a great time now. Okay. Ah, oh, this is exciting. Okay, so that's hooked up. But we haven't hooked up our uh, our natural crude oil field, which is right over here. Now then, I think... How big is this field? Do we have two pipelines going here? I think we sort of did-ish. We could make two. Let's go ahead and go from this one and also this side of stuff. I think that's an okay way of doing things. And then we'll hook up one to one area and one to the other. And I believe they're all connected together anyway. So it's not really um, a big deal to do this. Except for this part, which is probably going to be a big deal. <laughs> because we need to figure out how to get it into this bottom one. But it's fine. Uh, Alright, so here's going to be one. Oh... Oh, the how is real. All right. Oh, okay. That's fine. What I'm going to do is just copy this part here. And just place it on top of the trees. The trees won't mind. They're, they're okay with this. Sort of. Okay, that one there. Okay, very good. And then 
we also are going to want to have a pump or two over here. Now, somebody also asked me this the other day. Do pumps increase the flow from the pump jacks? They do not. The only way to increase the flow from the pump jack is to add a... Um, like speed modules or productivity, but productivity is never worth it in these. So you should always just add speed if you want to increase the speed of stuff. Okay, that one goes there. This one can go here. Nature, too much nature. Okay, how do we want to do this thing? This goes, I don't know where this goes. Let's add this here. There we go. We can see, we can finally see. Add this one here and we'll move this guy to between them. Perfect. Okay, so this one needs to connect with this guy somehow. Um, oh, I know what I can do. I'm gonna move this to be there-ish. Move that to be there and have a pump going in here. Hooray! And that will be nice. There we are. Okay, this is really good. Oh my god, this is so many tiles. <laughs> ah, no! too many tiles but it's fine it'll be really fine so anyway this is gonna start this is gonna start oh my god we have starting happening do we do we have the things yes no no okay something's happening something bad is happening we cannot get rid of the petroleum why is that this is hello why Petroleum, yes. Petroleum, yes. Oh, oh, because we have nothing else. We <laughs> we have no coal. That's why. Okay, so we're fine. We're fine. It's good. We just have no anything. Uh, and we're stuck on light oil here because we don't have any. Um, and these guys have full petroleum, but we don't have coal. So it would have been nice to see everything <laughs> work, but unfortunately, it has not happened. Uh, do we have any of this fuel at the end of the line? Did we get any? Yes, we did. We actually got some product. Hello. Yes, you can see the little bit of solid fuel on the end of that line there. Nice. Okay. So I think, though, this is a problem for Tomorrowland um, since uh, we need to go and grab some coal, which is probably going to be over here. And then we need to get the iron ore. But most importantly, we did get our electric network fixed and we have much more production here or production capacity i should say and uh yeah let's see how how much did we need here do we see oh by the way this is the green circuit array swishing on and off which i find very very amusing and um this what is this this is going to be furnaces yeah that makes sense but we're going to have a lot more production coming up it's pretty exciting so anyway uh, I think that is going to be it for this episode. So thank you so very much for coming. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.